Live, Rishi Sunak announces 4th of July general election. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the election has been announced and that slippery little snake, the poison dwarf inhabiting 10 Downing Street, the squatter. We'll just call him a squatter, right? Nobody voted for him. Just another squatter. Just like the cycloptic Scottish squatter that was in there. We've had this little Torag doing as he pleases with no mandate from the British people. What does it mean for you lot? Well, I think you know what it means. I believe I've been espousing a Labour win for about the last three years, right? Um, and you might not think that's what I've been doing, but when I basically threw my hat in the ring and said, definitely, definitely will I never, ever vote Conservative ever again when the fat albino jellyfish locked everybody in their houses for two years, and I pointed out that the normies would not abandon the Conservatives in large enough numbers first time around, first bite of the cherry, so that if you really wanted the Conservative Party to die forever, you would need to deal with the Labour government for four or five years, or in or indefinitely, right? Because they might just not let you vote them out. And uh, that's what we're going to get, ladies and gentlemen. So strap yourselves in, fill your garage with dehydrated rations and, <coughs> and drinking water, uh, because I think we all know what's coming next, don't we? <laughs> In summary, Rishi Sunak's announced the 4th of July general election in a statement outside Downing Street. After discussing the obvious, the furlough scheme and the war in Ukraine, he says the question is, who do you trust? <laughs> you, you couldn't make it up. Who do you trust? I'd trust Jimmy Savile with the kids more than I'd trust Rishi Sunak, the not conservative conservative party. If Gary Glitter broke out of prison and started running a school disco slash ventriloquist act, which involved the children putting their hand in a peculiar box to play with his puppet, um, I'd, I'd rather trust Mr. Glitter's Disco Ball Express than Rishi Sunak. The man is an absolute rat. What's he saying things like that for? If he had the brains that he was born with, he'd be saying something like, listen, I know we've let everybody down, but I do feel as if the alternative is worse. That's all I've got for you. I certainly wouldn't start on the trust issue. The bloke must be a maniac. Sunak says he's proud of what... <laughs> Proud of what his government has achieved. Uh, I'll just stay. I can't I can't read it without laughing. Proud of what his government has achieved. Name one thing. Name one thing. NHS spending. If you're spending record levels and nobody can get treated, you're wasting money. You might as well set a hundred billion pounds of light on the doorsteps of Downing Street, you absolute log. That's unbelievable. Proud of what his government has... You, you haven't got a healthcare system. I've told you a lot this loads of times. Everybody slags off the healthcare in America. Yeah, we pay for it, but I can get treated within a week or two of, of needing an appointment. And I basically pay what you're paying for with your taxes and your national insurance. But the difference is... I can actually get treated. So you're throwing money at nothing over there. And apparently he's proud of it. Yeah. Are you, are, are you proud of herpes as well, Rishi, are you? Oh, honestly. Completely mental. You might as well tell me you're proud of your strings of sexual offences. Uh, yeah, like pull out a scrapbook of your multiple criminal convictions. Oh yeah, this is the time I got caught uh, wanking on the bus. Proud of that one. The PM revealed the date in a rain-soaked Downing Street speech as Labour's 97 election anthem blared from a nearby street. The Labour leader said the election is the moment the country's been waiting for. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Waiting for the country to fall a bit. Uh, and he says, with patience and determination, there is so much pride and potential to unlock in the UK. No, no, there isn't. There isn't. There are so many people that want locking up in the UK who are currently roaming the streets, diddling the kids and doing as they please because the bobbies are too busy policing YouTube, and Twitter and Facebook. But there is nothing to unlock in the UK. Things are going to get much, much much worse. It is it is a nailed on fact. I've been telling you a lot this for years. It has to get much worse before it gets better because only when it gets really bad will the normies switch on and vote for someone who is willing to do what needs to be done, which is very aggressive police force. It needs pulling apart root and branch and we actually need a police force again full of big, burly, scary ex-commandos who are willing to chase down hooligans and knock 10 bells of shite out of them in the back of the police van. That's what we need. We need aggressive reforms for the police department, for the NHS. We need massive numbers of deportations every single 
person that's came into the UK illegally in the last decade needs slinging out and anybody who was granted a visa or asylum and who has committed a crime, I don't even care if it's a parking ticket at this point, wants throwing on a Chinook and flinging out of the nation. We know what needs to happen. We need the Navy and a commando unit in the channel so not a single small boat lands on the beaches. We know what needs to happen, but nobody has the will to do it. So what's going to happen? You are going to get five more years of mass movement of people. I'm talking a million plus people a year moving into the United Kingdom. So do you think there's going to be less scary, hairy men wandering the streets in 2025? or 2026, or 2027, of course not. You're in trouble, and your wives and daughters are in trouble. And anybody with a hole in their ass or more than two brain cells to rub together, they know it too. You're in bother, it's coming, prepare as best you can, Google legal UK weapons and get some, <laughs> fill your garage with ration packs and prepare for the worst. That's the only good advice I can give you. Still, you're after laugh, don't you? <laughs> This comedy of errors could have been avoided 5,000 times and we refuse to take any of those opportunities. So now we are in deep, deep doo-doo. Okay, that's just what I think though. If you disagree and you think this is great and Rishi Sunak's going to win and we're not going to pull the plaster off quick, we're going to do it nice and slowly. Probably makes no difference to the end state of the UK in 2028 anyway. But if you think things are going to get better, please let me know in the comments uh, and let me have a sniff of your glue bag after you. Yeah, twos up on your glue bag, please. Because I think that hot type of optimism can only be a result of solvent abuse. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all very soon. Total pip. Cheers. Mm -hmm.